In Matthew 7:15, the Bible had warned Christians to beware of false prophets. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. This video will show you why you should be wary of false prophets. It is inspired by true life stories. Kindly watch to the end and be blessed. Please, kindly subscribe to our channel, Emmy Narrate. God bless you. I am going through a lot, so much is going on right now in my life, and I don't understand what's going on. It seems the universe is against me. Ever since I finished school, since I graduated, completed my national youth service, I haven't had any reasonable job. It has been one private job or the other, I have been managing, most times, I don't even get paid, they owed me so much that I got frustrated and resign and will start job hunting again. It's not fair, I feel I need a deliverance. People who promised me job while I was serving later ignored me, some said, I should advance my studies and go for master's degree. Gladness, with which money will I use to pay for a second degree? To feed had been a challenge, I don't even have any reasonable amount of money to start a business, because commercial banks tend to give loans to only civil servants. Then, someone say I should do master's degree before I could be offered a job. It means, they don't want to give me. Where will I get the money to pay for master's school fees? And, it's not just school fees, what about feeding, books, assignments, project, and many others? Where will I get money to start with? Imagine me, no job, no husband, no children, nothing. I need deliverance like as soon as possible. Time is going and government always place an age limit for graduates to get a civil job. How will life be with me when I have not achieved anything yet? I'm confused, gladness. Hum, it is well my friend. I can relate. That's what happened to me before now and I went for special counseling sessions. Today, I have luck and favors like fire. Are you serious? Yes. It seems your case is spiritual, I know of a prophet that sees so well. He can browse your problems well, I went to him and he prophesied well about me and everything he said was true. I will take you there or give you his church address. Oh, thank you so much. That is great. Please, tell me the address. Good. The address is Pentecostal Evangelical Signs and Wonders Ministry, number 91, Grethart Street, off Peace Road. The counseling sessions is every Mondays, counseling time is 8 a.m. and the amount for the counseling is 1,000 naira only. Pray before going and pray in your heart while there, so that your file can open. He'll attend to you and your file will open and he'll browse well. He sees well and everything that is blocking your life shall be made opened and you shall have your deliverance and victory. Thank you so much. God bless you for the recommendation. I will go this coming Monday. Bonaventure my brother. Ah, long time no see, my man, you look great. How is life with you? My man, life has been kind, very okay. In fact God has been faithful. Everything is perfect now. Before now, it wasn't easy at all, but, mercy said no, so my stars aligned and life has been perfect. So, how is the ministry? Hum, my brother. The ministry is going on, it has been dragging, but we thank God, he has been faithful. My brother, be awakened, be woke. You see this life? It is deep. Deeper than you see or think, you see me shining now? Before now, nobody, I mean no one used to see me. But after the cleansing I did, I saw a man I have been greeting every day and he answered me normally. The man screamed and asked where I have been, I told him that I traveled. He said no wonder, that, he hasn't been seeing me, meanwhile, we used to see every day. He asked for my account details, I gave him and he wired 20,000 naira to me immediately. Before today. You wouldn't have seen me or recognized me because of the coverings that covered me. See, there's a veil that covers people from being seen, from having their favors, and once that veil and covering is washed off by the holy water, you are free. Life was so tough that I had to look for remedy by all means. Today, the story is different. What did you do? Tell me please, I'll do it, so far it works. Welcome Sister Prisca for coming. Thank you sir. Let us pray before we start. 
Thank you Lord for your mercies. Thank you for what you have been using me to do. Thank you for always using me to give solutions to the problems of men. I'm grateful Lord. It's time. Please, show yourself today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My daughter, I see in the spirit that there is a challenge over your life. There is a bet on your life that you will never be a graduate. I heard that you will never graduate from the university. The bet is ongoing, that you will never finish university and be called graduate and collect your degree. I see again, that evil is hovering over you. Darkness? Ah, last December someone died in your family? Eh, my daughter, your father's people, they have bet over your family to kill someone else. My daughter if you can say, God forbid. It will never happen. Pray against death. Pray for your degree to be released for you. You are blessed. You shall be great in life. Ah, I see a great destiny you carry. You shall marry, have children and have plenty money. I see a great future for you. My daughter, pray so you can graduate from the university. My daughter, is there any lie in this thing? Do you agree? Ask question where you don't understand. Sir, I have graduated from the university, I have collected my degree. I am a graduate already, it's job that I want. I want job and marriage. Oh, thank you Lord. Oh my daughter, it's true, I have seen it. I sense it in my spirit, I will give you job, a great job. I will give you job and husband. You shall marry before the end of this year, you shall marry. But sir, this is November and I'm not even in any relationship, how will it happen? Are you arguing with me or doubting the power of God? No sir, I'm sorry sir, I'm not doubting you, I believe. A lot of people receive prophecies and it comes not to pass because of doubts and unbelief. If you don't believe then why did you come? The Lord said, he will give you a job and a husband. Just believe. It's alright sir, thank you sir. You are blessed. God bless you. Please call on the next person when you go out. Brother Bonaventure, please, tell me what did you do? I'm not another person. We were together, struggling in this ministry. Show your brother the way, please. Things were so tough with me, nobody was seeing me, the ministry was struggling. I didn't have members. Giving and turnover was poor. I went to this strong prophet and he asked me to bring items, minerals in a crate, Fanta, biscuits, ground nuts, new bucket, soap, anointing oil and he bathed me close to the Epitaph River, he had a great assignment for me in the night. He washed my face, since then. People started seeing me, it's been from one blessing to another, favor upon favor. My ministry started to flourish, everything I say come to pass, prophecies are manifesting, Members come in like flood. Miracles everywhere, miracle marriages, jobs, then gifts in return, money, thanksgiving. Ah, this God is too much. So my brother, enough of praying too much, stop praying blindly and come let me show the way. When they say, follow who knows the road, it's applicable here too. Hum, trust me. You will see it yourself. If you are ready, I will take you there. Because in this life, everybody is assigned an angel, your life is hard and difficult, because your angel had been tied down, once you do this assignment for your angel to be released, you will start shitting, just try it and see. Keep your money it will be worth it. No problem my brother. I will come so we can go and do it. I need miracles, I need to pray to receive answers sharply. I need success in my ministry. I wish to see my ministry blossom too. I need members. I need success. I need this grace you're carry. Don't worry, you'll see it. I forgot to ask you, how was your meeting with Prophet Wiseman? How did the counseling session go? Gladness, that man is fake, he is a false prophet, he was lying all through and using his intuition and information I gave him to say prophecies to me. Please, don't ever invite me to such people again. Thank you. Ah, Priska, I hope you didn't argue with him oh. Some of these prophets, if they prophesy and it's not correct and you argue or try to expose them, they used to harm someone oh, please, be careful, I hope you didn't challenge his prophecies or argue with him. 
I hope you didn't make him feel he was lying. I don't understand you, so, you knew and still recommended me there. Because you were desperate for a change, so I recommended because it worked for me. No, I thought this one was different, my own clicked. I didn't know your own will be different. Please, don't be offended. Please, pray well, let no prophet harm o. Maybe he used miracle oil for you and the oil has finished, so he babbled in my turn. Hum, it is well with my soul. I was looking for very good, now I went and got very bad, now I'm saddled with another prayer point against being harmed by false prophet. Dear Lord, please have mercy upon me. Forgive my trespasses, show me your mercy. Let me not be a victim of false prophet's harm. Protect and preserve me unto your glory. May I not be a victim of circumstances. Plead my cause O Lord. I cover myself and destiny with the blood of Jesus Christ. I promise not to go astray again. Give me power every hour to do the right thing. Go the right path. Order my steps in your word dear Lord. Grant me a discerning spirit and renew a right spirit within me, O Lord. Jesus lead me lest I stray in Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for answering in Jesus' name, Amen. Hello great people. The Bible had forewarned us. This video is inspired by true life stories. The scripture warned Christians to beware of false prophets. According to the word of God in Jeremiah 531, the prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means, and the people love to have it so, and what will he do in the end thereof? Let us be careful of the false prophets as Lamentations 2.14 had warned. Thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee, and they have not discovered thine iniquity, to turn away thy captivity, but have seen for thee facile burdens and causes of banishment. Let us be careful, watch and pray and God shall turn away your captivity and give you a new song. Your deliverance and victory is in God and the word of God. You are your number one prophet. You too can pray like Elijah prayed. You have the power in the name of Jesus to pray and have breakthrough. Be careful of false prophets that roams the world today. Keep trusting God, keep studying his word, keep believing. For God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him according to Hebrews 11, 6. Always ask the Holy Spirit of God to lead you in all you do and pray for a discerning spirit to know which is right. Thank you for watching. Please, kindly subscribe to our channel, Emmy Narrate to stay connected. God bless you as you do so. Thank you.